good morning good morning it is Friday Friday August 13th 2021 yes and today I'm on the water you can see the berry skyline behind me yes good morning Louise yeah so let me just give you a, a view of the skyline Kempenfelt Bay good morning Brenda yes good morning Greg I hope you can get out on the water yes thank you for the love yes it is a beautiful day a wee bit sticky but beautiful good morning Elizabeth good morning look just look at that skyline look at that sunrise so beautiful yes I was actually born on Friday the 13th 13 is a great number for me um, good morning Alan soon good morning Ellen so glad that you've joined us today look at, uh, I like that crane actually there's two cranes see that two cranes yes good morning Sandy I know it's so nice I hope you guys can get out and enjoy the day good morning Kayla good morning and I did bring my coffee with me good morning Frida good morning yes this morning I am on the water I think this is paddle 135 I think this is paddle 135 good morning Joyce mm-hmm the coffee is still hot good morning Wendy glad to see you this morning yes it is it is beautiful on the water just one more pass of that sunrise right look at that look at that you were born on the 13th yes all right so <clears throat> this morning this morning we are going to turn to a I would say one of the most familiar passages right after John 3 16 and uh, probably more people know Psalm 23 than any other Psalm and uh, as I said I am reading through the Bible again and so I'm reading currently this week I'm reading three chapters of Deuteronomy because that's where I'm working through and then I uh, I decided to pick up some Psalms and so I'm reading through the book of Psalms as well so five chapters in the evening and so last night um, wow look at all you people born on the 13th that's cool um, so I decided to pick up my living Bible last night well actually I'm in my Bible app I have it on the living Bible because I thought it'd be interesting to read through the Bible in a different translation I am usually an NIV or the new international version uh, 1984 edition and so I thought well why don't we read a different version this time because sometimes different words that mean the same thing uh, sort of spark a new thought in us right uh, and so I, I, you know, started reading through. I was Psalm 21, Psalm 23, or Psalm 22, and like all so very fascinating. And I get to Psalm 23, and I'm like, Meh. <laughs> I've read this passage before. It's always good, um, but I'm like, but it's Psalm 23 because it's familiar, right? And so, uh, Lord. As we read this very familiar text, would you speak to us this morning? We ask this in your name. And so I know you all have probably heard Psalm 23 before, but as I read it this morning, um, I want you to tell me what stands out, all right? You tell me what stands out to you. So it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in green meadows he leads me beside peaceful shores he renews my strength he guides me along right paths bringing honor to his name even though I walk through the darkest valley I will not be afraid for you are close beside me your rod and your staff protect and comfort me you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me 
by anointing my head with oil, my cup overflows with blessing. Surely your goodness and unfailing love pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. So I would love, love to hear what it is, what phrases, phrase, word stood out to you as, as I read Psalm 23 this morning. Because I know which one stood out to me and I would love to share it with you. Uh, I have everything I need. Everything. Yes. So good, right? Like God's complete provision. Complete provision. You might need to repeat that to yourself, right? God's complete provision. So good and so comforting, right? He renews my strength. Yes, yes, he leads me on the right path, right? He, complete pr pr protection, provision, leads me on the right path, renews, he renews my strength. Surely your goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. Uh, right? Like, he, so good. Like when we just sit with these words and just see his complete uh, uh, provision, protection, care, guidance, right? Like so very good. I just want to like gather them all up. And uh, so as I went to, to write out this passage, since <laughs> You're on, you're on my N, my new living version on my phone. Uh, he restores my soul. I, I actually wrote it out. Uh, and so I got out my, my new living and I'm writing it down and I see there's, uh, I wanna say a passage, some study notes beside it. And so I start reading the study notes and I discovered something I never knew. Because the words that stood out to me was, in the NIV, he leads me beside still waters, right? Or this is, he leads me beside peaceful shores. And I don't know if you knew this, but sheep will not drink from fast moving water. I didn't know that. I've been reading this passage for 40 plus years. I did not know that sheep will not drink from fast moving water. Um, they like water, but fast moving water uh, brings some fear. Ooh, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Um, brings great comfort. I love it. Um, and so one, I don't know if you've ever checked out feet, the feet of a sheep. But yes, they're nimble, but um, the rocks on the bottom of, of a river or a lake might not actually be that safe for a rather woolly sheep, right? And I don't know if you've ever had a wet wool sweater, but they become very heavy. <laughs> so could you imagine the sopping wet wool sweater sheep trying to cross water? like? They don't like it. And so they would prefer not to go into fast moving water or to go into water at all. And it's not that they can't, they would prefer not to. So I love the fact that David, who was a shepherd, recognized this. And when he talks as Jesus as the great shepherd, which is um, one of the words that he calls himself in John 10, he says, I am the great shepherd. The sh my sheep know my, my, my voice and, uh, and that he lays down his life for the sheep. So David, as he's writing the psalm, like he realized what the sheep need, right? They need still waters. And Jesus, in his graciousness and his love and his care and protection. When we say that I have everything we need, right? That's verse one, I have everything I need. 
he lets me rest in green pastures and he leads me beside peaceful shores or still waters because he knows that's what we need. Ooh, that sun feels so nice. I just wish y'all were here with me physically. And I just, I sat with that last night that he knows exactly what we need. He knows exactly what he, we need. And the fact that rough, roaring rivers do not bring sheep peace. He knows that. Just like he knows what brings us peace. Every one of us. Right? Greg is saying this whole passage speaks to refuge, protection, and promise, no matter what version, right? Refuge, protection, and promise. He knows what you need today. He knows, he knows that the roaring, rushing waters can actually be overwhelming to us the noise and the clamor and um, the dust and the dirt that fly all day long. He knows that that's overwhelming to us. And, and so in his goodness and grace, he gives us these moments of rest and moments of peace. And he leads us beside peaceful shores. He leads us beside still waters and gives us an opportunity to drink deeply from calm waters. That phrase, he renews my strength, right? Uh, verse three, we've heard that before. We've heard that before, right? Isaiah 40, 31, those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Now, <laughs> I'm just like, thank you, Lord for the familiarity and the comfort that Psalm 23 brings. Because even though we're gonna walk through some very dark valleys, it says, he is with us. I will not be afraid for you are close beside me. He is the great shepherd. He lays down his life for his sheep. It says that he is the gate. That means he stands in the gap in the sheep pen so nothing can get past him without him knowing. Sit with that one for a minute. Right? Nothing can get past him without him knowing, him permitting it, and he would die before um, right, one of his people, one of his sheep got hurt, right? And he did. Jesus Christ, the great shepherd, died a very awful death on the cross to save his people from death. And whoever believes in him, whoever puts, his, puts their faith in him, whoever chooses to follow the great shepherd will never die, right? We'll always have those peaceful waters to drink from even in the midst of craziness because our peace comes from him as as elizabeth wrote in my peace i give to you peace i leave with you i do not give it as the world gives it oh so good so my dear friends as we uh embark on a weekend may you experience the still waters of the lord jesus christ May you experience his peace in your innermost being. May you experience a renewal of strength. And may you know in your innermost being his protection, provision, and promise. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you lead us beside still waters. Thank you that you lead us to places that renew our strength. Thank you for the green meadows that we can rest in. And Lord, as we come into this weekend, uh, for some it'll be quite busy and for some it will be an opportunity to rest. Would you help us 
to just soak up those moments of rest and peace. Help us just to believe that you are with us always. Even though we will walk through some very dark valleys, there is no need to be afraid. For you are with us. Thank you, Lord, that you know us and that you lay down your life for us. Help us to follow you. Help us to follow you today with all that we have, body, soul, and spirit. We thank you for your goodness and grace. Help us to extend peace to others. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, my dear friends, yes, may the peace that passes all understanding guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus today and this weekend. And so, with that in mind, that's it. That's all. Remember to like and share and go outside.